Okay, hello all you crazy people out there, this is Dragonite Spam, and welcome back to another one of these ridiculous little game maker videos. So this one is going to be about something that I've been using for, hmm, maybe a year now. And it just recently, and by that I mean like, a half hour ago, occurred to me that it was something that a lot of people might not know about, but might find interesting, and that is going to be about drawing outlined text in Game Maker. And there's a number of reasons you might want to do that, probably the most common one being uh, to make it stand out against the background a little bit better. So right here, I have just an empty room, an object that's going to be uh, drawing some text, and a font that's a little bit bigger than the default one. So first, let's see, yeah, the creative end is only going to be uh, setting the font to the, cut the, uh, the bigger font, so we don't have to deal with that now. In the draw event, where this is going to be happening, I'm going to be saying, moving my keyboard closer to my chair, that's not what I'm going to be saying. No, I'm not going to go in there quite yet. Yes, I am. Screw it. So I'm going to say draw text outline. And it's going to have the X, the Y. So I'm going to put this out like, a, I don't know, how about 50, 50. Um, the actual text itself, so I'm going to say, hi, I don't know, this is text, because it obviously isn't. Um, and I'm going to give it the background color, the outline color, rather. And I'm, that I'm going to make, how about, I don't know. C, that's a B, C, blue, or something like that. And, let's see. Oh, I also obviously need the, uh, like, the foreground color of the actual text. So I'm going to say, let's put the, uh, the foreground color first. I'm going to make that C white. Uh, C underscore white. Now, we don't actually have the script, so we're going to go and create it, which is what we usually do when we uh, end up not having scripts. And... Let's see, I'm going to copy that, I'm going to paste it here just for reference. I'm going to draw, well, type a little uh, <clears throat> method signature here. So it's going to be draw text outline, and it's going to have x, y, text, uh, text, color, and outline color. There we go. We can delete that now because recursion. Uh, let's see, I'm going to enter all these... Uh, arguments into little variables here, so I'm going to say xx equals uh, argument 0. There we go, all five arguments. x, y, text, text color, and outline color. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, uh, let's see, just plain old draw text. And I'll explain how this works more in a little while, but we're going to say x, x, because uh, that's the position, minus 1, y, y, and text, and then we're going to do this four more times. Uh, we're, instead of minus one, it's going to be plus one. Uh, next, it's going to be instead of a uh, plus x and minus x, it's going to be a uh, y. So I'm also going to obviously want to set the color because this is a uh, this block here. These four lines here are representing the outline. So we're going to say draw set color o color. And then after that, I'm just going to say draw set color t color. And let's see, draw text. Let's see, x, x, y, y, and text. And this is going to be the foreground. So here, let's see, this is um, hi, this is text with white text and uh, blue outline. And I'm going to run this, and it should work perfectly fine. There you have it. So actually, I might make like a foreground like yellow or something because in that example it kind of just looks like it's drawing a, the outline and not anything in between it because the background's also white but you can see now yellow text blue background blue uh, outline rather it looks good so what is actually happening here so this little function here is actually not really drawing an outline it's just drawing uh, the text a little bit off center to the left to the right up and down if I were to comment out this, let's see, if I were to comment out, that's not a comment. If I were to comment out that, there we go, you would see that it's just going to um, not really draw an outline. It's just drawing the background text a little bit bigger. If I were to comment this out or something like that, I'm just going to leave uh, two of them in there, comment two of them out, and maybe zoom in on, on editing. Note to future self, you could see that it's um, just the normal text except slightly off center. And now, when you draw the normal text over it that you want, or to uncomment everything and run the game again, it's uh, 
it's just sticking this the yellow stuff on top of everything else so that all you can see is the uh, outline around it. If you wanted to get really fancy, you could add like another argument that's for, say, the outline width, and then instead of adding and subtracting one, you could add and subtract the width. Actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to say uh, width, and then set that to a variable equals argument 5. And then um, instead of plus 1, minus 1, it's going to be plus w, minus w, all that fun stuff. And over here, let's make the width, uh, let's make the width 3. And that's going to probably look kind of funny because that's going to be kind of thick. But it's going to work. You can see it's a little bit thicker. You could also probably at this width notice that the corners are not really rounded. They're kind of sharp. So um, to get around that, you could say add another uh, four lines here. You could say like... Meh, copying and pasting. Something like this, so that you'd have it offset diagonally as well, but I'm not going to do that, because... Well, if you're still watching this video, you're probably smart enough to do that on your own, and you probably, in fact, don't want me to show you how to do that, because, uh... Simplicity and stuff, but... That's how you do outline text. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of this for the time being. Now, since the two colors that you're drawing are defined in here, in uh, the arguments of the function, and you don't have to do like a draw set color beforehand. Once you leave the script, like once you start drawing stuff down here, you're going to find that whatever you draw, uh, if we're just going to do like a rectangle at like, I don't know, 5, 5, 5, uh, 25, 25, and uh, fill it in, you're going to see that this is going to be yellow. And that's because, it's... come on, compile. Oh, um,. I'm going to want to change this back to 1, because uh, that variable doesn't happen to exist anymore. But if I were to go and, let's see, run the game again, you're going to see that this little rectangle there, it's kind of hard to see, but it's yellow. And that's because uh, in code, the last color that it was set to draw, the last color that was set is going to be whatever T color happens to be, and it's going to carry over outside the script. So say you want to revert to whatever you happen to be using before. Actually, I don't know, I shouldn't have deleted that because, um, examples. You can say var, I don't know, previous color, so I'm going to abbreviate to uh, p color equals draw get color. Okay, good, that's the function. And that's just going to save current drawing color to a variable, and then after this, set color p color. It's going to go back to what it was before. I believe since the, uh, the default color that Game Maker uses to draw is black, this uh, little rectangle there, yeah, it's going to show up as black. And now you don't have to worry about um, like the color effects spilling out of the script into code elsewhere. So, this original idea for this actually wasn't mine. I actually can't remember where I saw it earlier, but I kind of adopted the idea. I think the original credits went to like the game maker community forums or something like that i don't remember it's not terribly important i just figured i should uh, throw that out there but that is outline text in game maker you can use this in a lot of places too like i said before among other things make the text stand out a little bit more especially if like you have a background that's changing color like you're drawing an hud over a background that's multiple colors like i don't know you're walking around and there's different locations in your game with different graphical styles or whatever you're going to want a way to make the text stand out a little bit Probably, I think, white text with a back, a black, sorry, background looks best, but that's up to you. So since this is so simple, instead of putting this entire project file up for download in the description of this video, I'm just going to um, copy and paste the code so that you can just copy and paste if you want to use it. You don't have to like load a, uh, an entire Game Maker project to do that. Also worth noting, I suppose, this does work on, uh, as far as I know, all versions of Game Maker. If you go into like 8.0 or previous, you might have some trouble with... Um, like the wording of the functions, you might have to like change the order of the arguments or something because I think, especially with the draw functions, a couple of the uh, like the names were changed between versions. But that's it. I've wasted enough of your time here. Uh, go draw some fancy outline text, write, comment, and subscribe. Watch some of the stuff I have uploaded. I'm gonna try and do more of these uh, programming videos semi-regularly, and I will see you all later.